What stationery can you just not plan or journal without? We asked the JetPens team to share their essential sticky notes, washi tapes, and more. Let's get started. Hi, how's it going? I'm Anne and I'm a videographer here at JetPens. I do all my planning in the Jibun Techo Light Diary and these are the main supplies I use. I like using Swatelier Planner Sticky Notes to write down my to-dos for the week. They're available in a lot of different designs. I usually use these three designs. I like that there's two different sticky note sizes so I can pick the one that matches the size of my to-do list. This is the real one I use. Um, it might look a little different because I cut off the top part to save space, so pro tip. My stationary collection is kind of overwhelming right now and I'm trying my best to use things up. I think sticky notes are a great place to start. They're not so precious that I want to save them and I can recycle each note when I'm done. I use the Uniball One gel pen in black for almost all of my writing. I love pens that are white and the binder clip, accent color, DeBoss logo really bring out the clean design. The one uses ink that's formulated to stay on the surface of the paper. So the black ink looks darker. It also writes pretty smoothly on the Jibun Techo's paper. I block out time and color code with Zebra Mild Liner highlighters. You might be thinking, well, wait a minute. How can you use Mild Liners with gel pens? Won't you smudge the ink? Well, Here's a little tip, I highlight first and then write over it with gel pen. The chisel tip is wider than the grid in the Jibun Techo, but that means I can cover a lot more space with just one swipe. And there are so many colors too. My favorite is this one, Mild Lemon Yellow, because it pops without being fluorescent. Hi everyone, I'm Connie, a writer at JetPens. I use a planner and a journal. So I'll show you my must-have stationery for both. We released videos about my fountain pens and notebooks last year. Be sure to click the card above to watch them. As a left-handed fountain pen user, I have to keep a sheet of blotting paper with my journal. Blotting paper absorbs extra ink from the page, which helps keep ink from smearing. I also like to put a sheet under my hand so I don't get oils on the writing surface. You can use the same blotting paper over and over again so this pack of 10 sheets from Airbound will last forever. Mark's Maste washi tapes are great because they're perforated. You don't need a cutter to get neat strips of tape. And unlike typical washi tapes, you don't need to use specific pens to write on them. Maste writable tapes are compatible with water-based pens like gel pens and brush pens. I have the Northern Europe tape, which features charming Scandinavian-inspired designs and includes three different tapes on the same roll. I like using the rectangular tapes to add labels to my journal. Organizing my planner with Midori Chirato index tabs has been a huge game changer. I like these more than other index tabs because they're so easy to use. You don't have to worry about the tabs looking sloppy because you can just line up the edge of the color tab with the edge of the paper. And if you do make a mistake, the tabs are repositionable, so you can adjust them until they're lined up properly. Because I use a DIY planner, I need a good ruler to make straight lines and divide up the page. I've had the Sonic Nano Pita ruler for years now, and it's still holding up very well. The centimeter markings are printed on the top and bottom of both sides. No matter how you hold it, you can measure distances easily. I really like that the ruler is clear, so I can see the paper underneath. Plus, it has an anti-slip texture on the back to keep it from sliding around. Hey everybody, it's Stephanie. My picks are all from my journal, the Hobonichi. You can see the fountain pens and other supplies I use in it by clicking on the card above. Adding ephemera to the pages of my journal is easy with the Kokuyo dot liner. This dispenser applies strips of adhesive that won't wrinkle the Hobonichi's thin paper. A tape runner is also more precise than a glue stick, and I can apply adhesive along the edges and corners of paper scraps. I appreciate that the dot liner comes in a lot of different body types, so you can find one that fits in your craft kit or pen case. I love decorating my journal with empty washi tapes. 
They're so versatile. I can use them to tape in paper scraps, section off pages, or simply decorate however I want. MT tapes come in tons of different designs, but one of my favorites has to be the Solar System Tape. The vintage style works with any spread. It might not look like much, but the Kyoe Orion's Shitajiki is an essential part of my journaling setup. A Shitajiki, or writing board, goes under the page you're writing on, protecting the sheets underneath from bleed through or dents. I don't usually worry about bleed through because the Tomoe River paper used in the Hobonichi is fountain pen friendly. But I'm usually writing over the edges of stickers or ephemera, so a flat surface is really useful. I also use my Orions to protect the paper from hand oils. This way, the inks I use always show up their best. Those are all of our picks. Did anything surprise you? Let us know what stationary essential you just can't plan or journal without. Thanks for watching. P.S. We got a letter from our friends in Canada. Look at it. Look at the back of it. It's so cute though. No, for real though. Dear JetPens, Happy New Year from Toronto, Canada. My daughters and I love your videos and articles. My husband especially appreciated the pencil sharpener article. <laughs> he hates pencil sharpening the kids' pencils. Happy New Year. I have the same odd grip as Stephanie. Hi to all of you. Josh, Connie, Miriam. It says, uh, Happy New Year. Be sure to read this letter. P.S. Yay. Is this from the um, One Piece? Yes. Thank you. Dear JetPens, I watch your videos. Your online store should turn into a real store. How much stationery do you have at your online store? Too much. Not too much, but a lot. I am eight years old and I am using a stub nib. I like to hear that. Good stuff. And I have stationery, a lot of it. Smiley face. This ink is called Haha, -ha, which is one of my favorite inks too. JetPens, what is your most expensive fountain pen in your online store? I like your videos. Our most expensive fountain pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens. It's just under $1,000, but if you are willing to commit to a pen made of lava rock, basalt, something of that nature, it's super cool. Do you know Stephanie? I'm Stephanie. What is your favorite fountain pen? Hold please, I have it. Don't move, don't go anywhere. My favorite fountain pen is this one. I'm gonna beauty blog it. This is the Monteverde Invincia Nebula. It has an extra fine nib and the nib has, if you've seen a previous video of mine, you have seen how the nib looks. Well, the nib looks even worse now. And you know what? I don't mind. Do you mind? I'm sorry if you mind, but I don't mind. This is my favorite pen. The last question is, are you going to put new stationery out? Yes, every single week we do. But if you wanna know what's coming up, you should absolutely subscribe to our newsletter because we do little sneak peeks. This way you'll be in the know. I'm always in the know, but you should definitely be in the know if you wanna know when we're putting out new stationery. Thank you for signing us such a cute letter. It was such a joy to read. You have beautiful penmanship. And, oh, oh, I need to mention, we had a fan, Ernesto. Ernesto, you sent me and Josh things. You didn't have to do that. Please do not feel like you have to do that. But thank you so much. We put the coast, one of the coasters in the Maramon video. So if you didn't see it, it was there. And, but now they're at my home, not here, sorry. But thank you so much again. We really appreciate it. Okay, bye. Um, that's it, that's all I have. Okay, bye, farewell friends. Bye.